I want that power, February 27. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Joel chapter 2, 28 and 29. We are living in the last days, in a time when we may expect much from the Lord. These words should bring us to the throne of grace to claim great things of Him. Here the promise is given that on the men and women and on our sons and daughters the Holy Spirit is to come, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This brings to view a wonderful work to be done, for which we need the converting power of God in our hearts every day. It is our privilege to experience this. Heaven is full of blessings, and it is our privilege to claim the rich promises of God for our individual selves. We need to seek the Lord day and night, that we may know just what steps to take and just what we ought to do. The Lord has a special work to do for us individually. As we see the wickedness of the world brought to light in the courts of justice and published in the daily papers, let us draw near to God and by living faith lay hold of His promises that the grace of Christ may be manifest in us. We may have an influence, a powerful influence in the world. If the convicting power of God is in us, we shall be enabled to lead souls that are in sin to conversion. In the closing scenes of this earth's history, many children and youth who receive a true Christian education will astonish people by their witness to the truth, which will be born in simplicity, yet with spirit and power. They have been taught the fear of the Lord, and their hearts have been softened by a careful and prayerful study of the Bible. In the near future, many children will be endued with the Spirit of God and will do a work proclaiming the truth to the world. They will do a work in the world that not all the powers of evil can counteract.